Hello, welcome to how to secure remote workers with Cisco Security Analytics and Login Video. My name is David Marin and I'm a technical solutions architect for Cisco. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can have full visibility into which users are connected via VPN, all their traffic information, and how to terminate the connection when a user violates a remote worker policy. But before getting into the how, let's review a couple of components. First, we have Cisco Defense Orchestrator. Cisco CDO is a cloud-based management and orchestration tool that provides centralized policy distribution and management, all in the cloud so it supports a variety of client devices such as Cisco ASA firewalls, Cisco Firepower firewalls, and more. Cisco CDO is a key element into securing remote workers because all firewall VPN logs are sent to CDO for logging and storage. The second component is Cisco StealthWatch Cloud. Cisco StealthWatch Cloud allows you to have complete visibility into the user flows. With this, you can see how much traffic your VPN users are exchanging and which destinations they're talking to. In addition to your VPN users, you can also enable Cisco StealthWatch Cloud to monitor other on-prem resources as well as cloud workloads in AWS, GCP, and Azure. With those two components in mind, let's move to the demo. For this demo, I'm using single sign-on to log into my CDO tenant. Once here in the main page, I'm going to make sure I'm getting the logs for my firewalls correctly. And for this demo, I have two different set of firewalls, one ASA and one FTD sending logs to CDO. For checking the logs, you can check the logs here in the monitoring and event logging section. And as you see, the logs are indeed displaying correctly. Now let's go to the VPN section up here in the remote access VPN monitoring section. This particular section will show you all the VPN users connected to the firewalls. For this demo, I'm using an AnyConnect client from a remote location to one of my firewalls. As you can see here, this is my VPN information. And here you can see my username, my VPN IP, and you can also verify additional connection details, such as the amount of traffic sent and received, and the client OS type if you click on this specific user session here. Now, in order to get additional information from this user, you would copy the VPN IP address for the user and go to Monitoring and Security Analytics, which is the second option right here. This will pivot to Cisco StealthWatch Cloud. From here, you can go to this magnifier glass on the top right hand corner and paste the user's IP address. This will show a summary of all user activity within the last 24 hours by default, but this time can be changed to show a higher time range. From here, you can see that this subnet was defined as part of the remote workers inside too. We also see that this host has transferred around 136 megs of data in total. You can also see the breakdown of bytes to and from. Down here in the graph, you can also check the specific time where the transfer happened. Scrolling down a little bit, and you'll see a list of connected IPs in this section. This shows all the connections made from this VPN user. And as you see, it seems that this user communicated with a device on 172.16.211.201 the most. The total amount of traffic transfer to this device is around 134 megs, which is a very close number to what we saw in the previous section. And if we keep scrolling down, we'll see the top connected ports, which in this case looks like SMB is the top one. 
and by looking at the total bytes it also matches with the 134 megs that we saw from the previous section. So keeping on with the investigation, we can now go to this page that's called Device View. In this section, you can see a history of all the traffic sent and received from this device. So you can go back in time and investigate. As you see here, this VPN user was active on June 18th, and if you click on the dots, the traffic information below will be updated to show traffic for that day. By looking into this graph, this user was not active after the 18th and connected again on July 6th. So once we click on the dots again, you'll see that the traffic bytes are now updated for this day. And you also see that it matches our 130 megs that we've been looking at. To see more information on the connection specifics, we can come here to traffic and sort by internal or external and also sort by bytes to and from. This level of visibility will tell you what the remote workers are doing when they are connected via VPN. All of their connections to internal destinations, the total amount of traffic sent and received, and the ports and protocols they're using to connect to different resources. In addition to that, we can also get security analytics alerts when a malicious behavior is detected on the VPN user. For reviewing the alerts, I'll go to the alerts menu on the top of the page. As you see, we have some recently triggered alerts that I'll review. The first one is new IP scanner which indicates that this host was found scanning the network. As you see here, this is the same host as before, and if you scroll down to the observations, you'll see which IPs and ports were scanned. The second alert comes from a configured watch list. In this demo, the environment was configured to trigger an alert when any remote worker starts transferring files from database servers via SMB. So as you see in this alert, this matches perfectly with all information we've seen so far. Here below, you see exactly what triggered this alert, which was an SMB transfer between the VPN user and this host on 172.16.211.201 which is a database server. And we see the same 130 megs of data. Since we were able to investigate what exactly this user was doing while working remotely, we can conclude that this user is in violation of a security policy because not only it is connected to a restricted server that it shouldn't connect to, but also it's running a scan in the network we need to remove the access and terminate the VPN connection. For that, we go back to CDO, click on the VPN section, Remote Access VPN Monitoring again, and click on this button that says Terminate all array VPN sessions for this user. And now you see the user was disconnected. And that concludes my demo on how to secure the remote workers with Cisco Defense Orchestrator and Cisco Security Analytics and Login. Thank you.